Good morning, Franklin High School. Thanks for tuning in to the first episode of Season 8. I'm Hayden. And I'm Charlie. The school renovations are amazing. Just look at our new studio. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're moving up in the world. Today we're going to be talking everything homecoming. The Franklin community showed their support for our extracurriculars by attending the annual homecoming parade on October 5th. Many activities and clubs participated in this year's homecoming parade. Students and their families, as well as other members of the community, all gathered together to celebrate Franklin's spirit. A variety of students were pumped up by representing what they're passionate about. It was awesome. So many people showed up. We ran out of candy halfway through, but that was chill because, like, the people still wanted to be here for morale and pep. After the parade, everyone headed down to the football field to show their Franklin pride at the community pep rally. The Pomps team made a special performance to hype up the crowd for the Potter Puff game between the juniors and the seniors. I thought it was, it was a lot of fun. There were a lot of really cool events. Got to see some great performances from dance teams and thought it was very peppy. At the end of the night, everyone gathered to the baseball field to wrap up the festivities with a bonfire. The festivities continued after the parade with the Potter Puff Championship game in Sullivan Stadium. Hi, my name is Ashley Hoffman and we're going to win. Homecoming week kicked off Monday starting with the Potter Puff games. The sophomores played against the juniors and the freshmen battled it out against the seniors. The juniors and seniors were victorious, advancing to the next round Wednesday night. The seniors dominated scoring four touchdowns, led by their team leaders, Quinn Bachhoven, Janelle Carroll, and quarterback Megan Lee. We overestimated that team. We prepared uh, great, and you know, we got a good win. We shut them out, which was big because we gave up zero points the whole uh, tournament. The seniors ended up claiming their victory 28-0. After that championship victory, I think it's only right that I do this on the Sabre Roar. I've decided to retire as an assistant coach of the victorious senior team. Don't you mean water boy? <sighs> this year's homecoming pep rally was full of many exciting events such as Hungry Hungry Hippos, a bicycle race with the teachers facing off against the homecoming court, and the unveiling of homecoming king and queen. This year's pep rally was met with anticipation for some and mixed feelings for seniors. It's a little bittersweet, but I'm super excited for homecoming this week, and it's always a fun time of year. Um, but I'm definitely ready to move on to um, new and exciting opportunities in life. There was also an introduction of all the new staff members and everyone's favorite part, introducing the homecoming court. Your king and queen! My favorite part is really just being out here with all my friends. Cheer and Palm showed off their highly anticipated routines. The teachers lost in a miniature bike race to the homecoming court, and the seniors won in Mr. Johnson's version of Hungry Hungry Hippos. The freshman and senior side of the gym won the Athletic and Activities Council Relay. My first homecoming week was really exciting. It was fun to see all the different spirit days. It was a really great experience as a freshman. Congratulations to our King Matt and our Queen Danny. Also the senior class for winning the spirit stick this year. Many fall sports have their own homecoming games. This year we were able to showcase three of them. We bring you Sabre spirit and excitement from FHS football, soccer, and girls volleyball teams. The Franklin Sabres JV boys soccer team played an outstanding game against Racing Park. Scoring goals throughout the entire game, the ending score was 10-0 Franklin Sabres. The girls JV volleyball team practices outside of school to prepare for a great season. We do lots of team bonding activities because it really helps a lot when you get along on the court. The girls JV volleyball team plays second at conference with an overall score of 7-1 to to end their season. The Franklin Sabres played an amazing game against Racing Park, finishing the game with a score of 41-6 to Franklin Sabres. The Franklin sports teams have done exceedingly well this season. Congratulations to all of the athletes involved in the homecoming games. Also, congratulations to the football team for an impressive first-round victory, 66-14 over Hamilton. The second-round playoff game will be at home this Friday against Oak Creek. Come on out and support your Sabres. Although homecoming is over and winter is around the corner, there is still time to enjoy the fall festivities with your friends. Reporter Angela Chobanian brings us a report from a well-kept Franklin gym, Aw-E's Apple Orchard. Aw-E's Apple Orchard is a local Franklin business located in Highway 100. 
We are the last existing orchard in Milwaukee County where we have our famous apple cider donuts. People come from all over just to get donuts. We have 22 varieties of apples depending on the season as they come in, from Paula Reds up to Honeycrisp. Or you might want some Macintosh or Cortlands. You can pick your own apples here at the orchard. We also have apples that if you don't want to pick, we do have apples that we've picked already with tender loving care for you. Our hours are Monday through Thursdays. We're open from 10 to 6. Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, we're open from 9 to 5. Support our local businesses. Stop by for apple and pumpkin picking. Also, sample their famous apple cider donuts. We know Angela had five. As most of you already know, through my amazing morning announcement, Student Senate has started this year's food drive. Students will be able to place their food into a box labeled with their class, freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior. Donating will also have its perks for students, including drawings for prizes, but the biggest perk is the feeling of helping people who don't have what we have. Thanksgiving is coming up. Let's make sure everyone has food on their table. Well, that's all we have today. Thank you for tuning in to the first episode of The Saber Roar. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Saber Roar, and follow us on Twitter at The Saber Roar.